Alien, Romulus made me love Star Trek even more. Alien, Romulus made me love Star Trek even more. I thought Feed Alvarez's Alien sequel was a tremendous return to form for the franchise. To me, Alien, Romulus is a remarkable achievement considering it's the ninth Alien movie. While Ridley Scott's Prometheus and Alien Covenant have their supporters, both left me cold despite some intriguing ideas both films presented. For my money, Alien, Romulus is the best Alien movie since James Cameron's Aliens in 1986 and is in the top three along with the original 1979 Alien. Even better for me, Alien, Romulus's bleak horror was a reminder of why Star Trek is so great. Said in 2142, 20 years after the events of Alien, Alien, Romulus sees a group of 20-somethings, including Rain Carradine, Kaylee Spiney, desperate to escape the Jackson Star Mining Colony they're indentured to. Rain and her friends raid the derelict Romulus and Remus space station, looking for cryobeds to take them to a planet far away from the Wayland yutani Corporation they work for. Of course, the station is infected by xenomorphs. Rain, her synthetic brother Andy, David Johnson, and their friends fight to survive against scores of aliens, while uncovering a horrifying secret about Wayland yutanis plans for the xenomorphs' DNA. Alien, Romulus, is a perfect reminder of why Star Trek's optimistic future is so great, beyond the Alien franchise's trademark chest-bursting gore and heart-stopping horror. Alien, Romulus presents a relentlessly bleak future. In Alien, Romulus's 22nd century, humans attempting to colonize distant worlds are all essentially enslaved to the Wayland yutani Corporation. Jackson Star is a dying mining colony where everyone forced to work the mines is essentially condemned to die from disease, like Rain's parents. Life under Wayland yutani is hopeless, even without xenomorphs feasting on humans, and it's understandable why Rain wants to escape a future that is essentially rigged against her ever getting the chance to live long and prosper. Star Trek postulates a hopeful and aspirational future that's the opposite of Alien, Romulus's. Yes, there are still problems, enemies, and wars to fight in the final frontier, but Star Trek envisions humanity leading a union of hundreds of worlds and coexisting peacefully with myriad aliens. Alien, Romulus grimly calls humans too weak to colonize outer space, but Star Trek believes humans to be capable of achievable greatness. Starfeet bonds humans and aliens alike in a shared duty to explore strange new worlds and seek out new civilizations. Watching Alien, Romulus, I ached myself which future would I want to live in, Star Treks or Aliens? The answer is a no-brainer. Gene Roddenberry's vision for Star Trek has always stood out compared to other sky fee properties' concepts of what the future will be like. The Matrix saw humans as power sources for machine overlords. Children of Men postulated a dying human race where no new children are born. A Quiet Place sees Earth conquered by alien monsters. The world is a frozen wasteland in Snowpiercer, whereas apes rule what's left of humanity in Planet of the Apes. Look beyond Star Trek and you see sky fee futures where there is little to look forward to. Cynics scoff at Star Trek's proposed utopia, citing that other science fiction reflects the real problems of the world. Gene Roddenberry's belief that mankind can solve hunger, overpopulation, the climate crisis, and our reliance on money and material possessions can be seen as unachievable due to human nature. But Star Trek argues that humans should try to be their best selves, and the only way to prevent the terrible outcomes of the Matrix, Snowpiercer, or Alien, Romulus, is by working together toward a common good. As much as I enjoyed Alien, Romulus, it only reaffirmed why Star Trek matters as a counterpoint to such a fearsome and dreadful future. When the Alien franchise first introduced us to its terrifying xenomorphs in Ridley Scott's 1979 classic, it cemented itself as one of the most iconic horror franchises in cinema. The dread of encountering the perfect predator, the tension of claustrophobic space environments, and the human character's constant struggle for survival have made the Alien series both exhilarating and deeply disturbing. With Alien, Romulus, the latest installment in this long-running saga once again transporting audiences into the dark and unforgiving reaches of space, I found myself reconsidering my relationship with another beloved sky fi universe, Star Trek. In fact, as much as I've enjoyed Alien's thrill and terror over the years, Romulus reminded me of why I love Star Trek even more. 
At first glance, it may seem strange to compare two franchises that approach space and science fiction in such vastly different ways. Alien is horror at its core, with science fiction providing the backdrop for survival against terrifying extraterrestrial forces. Star Trek, meanwhile, is a utopian vision of space exploration, diplomacy, and the potential for peaceful coexistence among alien species. The emotional core of these universes couldn't be more different. Alien thrives on fear, while Star Trek inspires hope. But it was precisely this contrast that hit me while watching Alien, Romulus. The film doubles down on the franchise's signature themes of dread and isolation. Once again, humanity is pitted against an unstoppable alien species in a remote, hostile environment. The characters, like in previous entries, are often isolated and powerless, struggling to outthink creatures that view them purely as prey. Every decision feels like a matter of life or death, and the environment is so hostile it almost becomes a character in its own right. The bleakness and sheer hopelessness that permeates Alien. Romulus is palpable, there is no room for optimism or the belief that humans will triumph in the long run. There is only the constant fight for survival. And this is where I realized how much I appreciate Star Trek's opposite vision of the cosmos. In Star Trek, space is a vast frontier full of wonders, not just horrors. Rather than emphasizing fear of the unknown, Star Trek sees the unknown as something to be explored, understood, and respected. It's a universe where communication, diplomacy, and intellect are as important as strength, where different species, even those with conflicting values, can often find common ground. Watching Alien, Romulus, I couldn't help but think of how Captain Kirk, Captain Picard, or even the crew of Star Trek, Voyager, would approach a similar situation. Instead of succumbing to fear, they would likely find a way to negotiate with or outsmart their alien adversaries, because in the Star Trek universe, there's almost always hope for peaceful solutions. This isn't to say that Star Trek doesn't have its fair share of conflicts and dangers. There are plenty of hostile alien species in its universe, from the Borg to the Klingons, at least before peace was achieved. But the difference is in how these threats are framed. Even in its darkest moments, Star Trek emphasizes the power of unity, resilience, and the belief that reason and diplomacy can win out over violence and chaos. The Federation, which represents the ideal of intergalactic cooperation, stands as a testament to the notion that humanity's future in space could be one of inclusivity and mutual respect, not just survival. Alien, Romulus reminded me of how rare that kind of optimism is in science fiction. Too often, space is portrayed as an unrelentingly hostile place, where the only thing humans can hope for is to survive long enough to escape whatever horror is hunting them. In Alien's universe, humanity is small, fragile, and alone. In Star Trek, however, humanity is part of a much larger cosmic tapestry, capable of forging alliances and pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Where Alien sees space as a place of terror, Star Trek views it as a place of infinite possibility. Moreover, while Alien, Romulus showcases the limits of human technology and knowledge in the face of an incomprehensible alien threat, Star Trek takes the opposite approach, celebrating human ingenuity and cooperation. In Star Trek, there is always the possibility that through science, creativity, or sheer determination, humanity can overcome even the most formidable challenges. Romulus thrives on the horror of humanity's insignificance in the grand scheme of the universe, while Star Trek thrives on the idea that, through unity and knowledge, humanity can carve out a meaningful place in that vast expanse.